Coming up, did you know Krav Maga is the military self-defense system developed for the Israeli Defense Forces? We learned some moves from the world-renowned fighting style next. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Today we are talking self-defense, and it's a harsh reality. One in six women in the United States will either fall victim to an attempted rape or a rape. How to prevent that? Self-defense. And we've got a Jeff here, a manager of Krav Maga. When you talk about self-defense, where do we begin? I mean, we're not all trained. Yeah, no, that's definitely right. One of the first things that we get our folks doing is striking, because no matter what, a uh, self-defense situation somebody is going to find themselves in, they're going to need some offensive techniques okay. to um, damage the attacker's desire to keep attacking. That also shifts their mindset uh, away from a victim mindset towards an empowered mindset. Because the, the attacker, I mean, what are they looking for? They're looking for someone who they think maybe won't fight back. Exactly. The attacker does not want to fight. They want a target. They want a victim. They want somebody that they can easily exploit, for sure. And what we're seeing right now, I mean, we're seeing uh, Jeremy and Elizabeth Green. Obviously, these are pros. She's trained. She's an expert. And this is a very high level. But, but what we want to focus on today is we brought our intern. We brought Elena. Uh, Elena, come on, come on uh, over here. She's not Mike, so we can't really talk to her. But she is a college student, and she would be someone who would be a potential target. Yeah, so uh, Elena, we're going to get you started on some strikes, and that would be your very number one foundation for learning how to defend yourself. So Elizabeth, if you can grab the pad over here. What you're gonna start out with, Elena, is just in a fighting stance, taking a step with your non-dominant leg forward, and your hands are gonna create a barrier between the possible threat and you and your vitals. So all you're gonna do is twist with your lower body, striking with the heel of your palm as you hit that pad. Go. Excellent. Nice. Keep going, good. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be strong. Good, and time. Now we're gonna modify that as well. Um, you might find this more comfortable where instead of going straight out with the heel of your palm, you're going down on top with your pinky. This is called a forward hammer fist. Go ahead and try it. She's looking really confident to me, what I'm yes. seeing for somebody for just learning this. Right, so this is an instinctive motion. Uh, mm -hmm. You see people that even haven't done a lot of uh, self-defense training, this is very natural for them. So we would want you to be able to use this because of the fact that it won't take a long time for you to learn. So let's go back to our right. front kick to the groin. All you're gonna do is swing your leg up like a big pendulum, trying to go through that pad. Our hands are up. Good, go ahead and go. Good. There you go. Nice. That's, that's awesome. awesome. And, and these right here, these are super basic, but these are things that uh, you at home paying attention or maybe you wanna come and sign up for a class. The point is, is to take this, utilize it in a situation where where it's dangerous situations. Yeah, we can teach all types of tips and tricks to get out of a grab or out of a out of a dangerous situation, but unless you have that mindset mm -hmm. and that will to fight back, um, that's the number one foundation. So what Elena's working on right now is the number one starting point for being able to defend yourself. All right, it's about confidence and having the knowledge to use that confidence. We're gonna be here all morning long teaching you what you need to know to defend yourself. We're back after this. Let's send things back outside to Andy. She's <laughs> learning some self-defense moves. Oh man, some awesome self-defense move. Now we learned uh, earlier how to land some blows. Uh, what are we gonna do next? This is Jeff. So bear hug <laughs> uh, from behind is mm -hmm. one of the most common attacks, particularly for women. Okay. The attacker might be trying to take you somewhere you don't wanna go or pick you up and put you on the ground or hold you for something else. So Scary. Elizabeth, go ahead and demo full speed for us. <laughs> Good, time. So Ooh. basically what's happening is uh, Jeremy's putting the attack on and Elizabeth is immediately dropping her weight to lower her center of gravity. Then she's shifting her hips out of the way to throw a groin strike. This does two things. It damages her attack, but it also backs his hips up. So she has some room to move. She's gonna turn into the fight so she can assess and see what's actually going on. But she's not gonna stop hitting him until she knows for a fact that she is safe. Now here's what I hear is I keep hearing you say create some space. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about, I mean, why is that important? Well, so Jeremy's obviously bigger. Most attackers are gonna be physically bigger than their, their, their targets. Mm -hmm. So when Elizabeth grab, gets grabbed, she needs to create some space to move, primarily so she can turn and assess what's going on, but also so that he can't use his greater physical size as an advantage. Okay, great. Can, can I try it real quick? We yeah, just, right, yeah sure. Right. Okay. So Jeremy's gonna grab you. First thing you're gonna do, just drop your weight. Good, okay. great, do it again. Go ahead and do it okay. one more time. Good, now shift your hips to one side and you're gonna give them a strike to the groin. Good, from there, as soon as you feel like you've created space, you can do elbows, hammer Maybe fists, whatever you want. Here, go right? ahead and turn it and face him because you need to see what's going on, see what he's trying to do. Okay. Go ahead and move your feet so you're facing him. 
Going all the way around, good. Now you're just gonna unload with offense because you've kind of turned the tide and now it's kind of your time to keep striking okay. until you feel like you can get away and get to safety. And there's a lot of different situations. Uh, the most common is the bear hug, but mm -hmm. we're gonna explore some others, uh, some that are even scarier, if that's possible. Absolutely. Okay, guys. So we're here all morning. Uh, this is this is life-saving lessons that you're learning here. So thank you so much to all these guys. We're gonna be back with a lot more right after this. As we head back out to kick some butt at Krav Maga, Maryland, Andy's learning four self-defense moves every woman should know. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. This morning we're talking about the four things every woman needs to know when it comes to self-defense. We're at Krav Maga here. We've got uh, Jeff Mound, who's uh, one of the instructors. And when we talk about the this scenario right here that we're seeing with an attacker on top of a victim, I can't imagine a more fearful situation. Right, well we're gonna up the ante a little bit even more because the attacker is actually gonna be choking Elizabeth and she's mm. gonna demonstrate this technique here. Good. So, yep, go ahead. Nope, so go ahead. what she's doing, she's on the ground. We don't know how she got there. Uh, maybe she was thrown there. Maybe the attack started here. But Jeremy, as the attacker, is demonstrating a murder attempt. He's trying to kill her. He's dropped all of her weight. He's substantially larger. So the first thing she's going to do is plant her foot on the ground and rip his hands off as she pops her hips up and over. Violent, aggressive pop. From there, she's going to strike. She's going to strike to the face, strike to the groin, and she's not going to stop until she's in a better position that is up on her feet. Now, what I'm seeing right now is she's utilizing those blows that we learned at the top of the hour. Exactly. There, this technique doesn't happen without mm -hmm. violent, aggressive counterattacks, being willing to do damage to your attacker. Absolutely. Okay. And the biggest thing is we got to remember, I mean, the attacker is not playing by any set of rules. Right. So one of the ways that Elizabeth and all of our students get prepared for the stress and the anxiety and the fear of being in this position is by adding stress to the situation. So she's going to be striking right from the get-go. She's going to be giving hammer fist strikes. The hammer fist, we learned those. Yeah, we did okay. them. We did them from standing. And then at some point, Jeremy's going to ditch that pad and he's going to give her the attack. But she needs to be ready to fight again, even when she's on top. Well, because we're just assuming that maybe there's one person. Good, in time. Yeah, so it might be two people, might be multiple mm -hmm. attackers, or it might just give her a destination other than just doing the technique and being done. It gives her a place to go with the fight other than just completing the defense technique. It keeps her offensive, keeps her aggressive, it keeps her decisive. Very good. All right, guys, see lots of good information here. And as you can see, all morning we're building on these techniques, and we're back after this. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Andy's been learning essential self-defense moves all women should know at Krav Maga, Maryland in Columbia. How's it going, Andy? Uh, yeah, it, it's absolutely amazing. And we've been talking with uh, Jeff Mount all morning long. And what we've noticed is uh, everything we've learned today builds on itself. Absolutely. But you made a great point. Do something. Right. Fight back. Right. Right. You don't have to be perfect. and You don't have to be an expert to take decisive action. So our first goal for our students is to make sure that they just believe that they can do these things. Mm -hmm. Right. So we do a gun defense and that is usually very high risk. It's going to look a little bit like this. So we've got Elizabeth and uh, Jeremy again showing us, walking us through the ropes. So Good. Do it again real quick. Tell me what we're seeing here. So basically, uh, what Elizabeth is doing is a basic gun defense, which is more important to train her to think that she's not helpless, even if somebody pulls a gun on her. The very first thing she's going to do is redirect the line of fire so that if the gun accidentally goes off, she doesn't get shot. Then she's going to put her entire body weight onto the gun, planting it onto her attacker's body. That allows her to keep control of the gun while she drives forward with other strikes. She's going to be punching a person that pulled a gun on her. What that will allow her to do is kind of turn the tide take back control, then she's going to reach underneath the gun, she's going to break it forward, which may damage the attacker's finger, and then disarm him so awesome. that she knows she's safe and she can get away. Guys, thank you so thank much. Thank you for guys. having us so And thank much. you so much to our intern, Elena, you did a great job. Thanks, hon, for helping out. So, and guys, thank you so much. So let's toss it back to the girls. Hopefully, you girls in the studio have a takeaway this morning. Well, it, it was very informative. Yes. I 